Okay, so I'm currently on a call right now with our product designer. That is him right there. His camera is off and his microphone is also off. And we are on a work session. So today we want to launch the landing page and the marketing site. But the problem is, um, since we're migrating from an old website to a new website, not all of the pages on the old website will be available on the new website. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be writing some custom code to redirect users that want to go to the pages that are not available. We want to redirect them from the new website to the old website. And how I'm doing that is via something called a CDN. So I'm serving a vanilla JavaScript via CDN to the new website that could redirect users to the old website. Come with me. So the CDN I'm using is called JS Deliver, and uh, a CDN stands for Content Delivery Network, and it allows you to serve files remotely in a way that is very um, scalable, it's reliable, and it has better performance. So all you have to do is like point to a GitHub um, file, and then the CDN will like download that file and then put those files in like servers that are closer to the user. So whenever a user requests that file, if it's closer, they get that file quicker, and then they can just run that file on their own computers. So I just generated some code from ChatGPT that extracts the URL parameters that I need to run the redirect operation. But the problem is this code is too long. I just found a way to make the code way shorter. Check this out. So this is what ChatGPT gave me. By the way, I'm using two AI coding assistants. I'm using ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. But this is what ChatGPT gave me. So what it does is every time it sees the, the word Addy in the current page, the URL of the current page, it replaces it with the word Utils. This is the uh, new one. This is the old one that we want to redirect users to. And it goes ahead to replace all the protocols, the usernames, the ports, the search, whatever. Now the problem is, if there is no Addy in the current um, URL hostname, which can be the case if we are staging the website, th that's what we're currently doing, it's not yet fully launched, we're just staging it, this is going to break. So here's what I'm doing. I am just splitting the current URL, whether or not it has Addy or it has XYZ, whatever it has, I'm just splitting it, and then I'm getting the second part of that split, that part has all of these variables that we're looking for, and I'm just appending that to the new site, the old site that we want to route to, and then I'm just redirecting the URL. So this code is much shorter, it's cleaner, and this just goes to show that sometimes the complex code is not always the best code. Sometimes the simplest code can be the better code and even the best code. And one of the software engineering acronyms that I used to remember that, I think it's a really famous acronym. It's K-I-S-S, -S, and it stands for Keep It Simple Stupid. And it just helps you remember that simple code wins over a complex code every time. So I'm finally done with the feature, and here is how it works. So if you go to our landing page, and then a user might try to access the route called pricing, forward slash pricing, and then go to that route. It redirects you to the old website that has that page, but the new website does not have it. So let's talk about the philosophy of why um, we decided to do it this way why we decided to route users to the previous website that has some pages and the new website doesn't have it. Um, well, the thing is, it would have taken us at least two or three days to rebuild the pricing page in a way that we like it. And that's like two days that we're going to spend doing something that we're already doing or two days that we're going to spend wasting on building stuff while we could be building the actual product. So 
How we like to run the company is a principle of velocity, so with speed and direction. So we're cautious about the things that we do, but we also don't want to waste time in making these like mundane decisions, like should we build a new pricing page, when we could just redirect to the old pricing page and then save a bunch of time. So we like to move fast, we like to ship things really fast and ship things with caution and velocity. And uh, that's how we're able to move really fast. That's how we're able to ship a lot of features. That's why we're able to delight customers in the way that we do. No. Did it work? So I've replicated all of the um, redirects that need to happen. I've also connected uh, the DNS. But DNS takes a couple of hours to um, connect, I guess. So we do have downtime on the website right now. Uh, if you go on the website, there's nothing uh, on there. It's like a pure blank page until the DNS connection is fully set up. So uh, I'm just going to go home and then, uh, you know, check back when it's connected. It's um, 4.46 p.m. I'm home early. Uh, Eddie is not here. Let's see if there is a, something to snack on. Oh, I could probably make rice and something else. Or maybe rice and eggs. Or just plain eggs. That would be, that would be interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with plain eggs. So one of the great things about coming home early is that, well, first of all, I don't have to get food outside, but also um, I still have a lot of time in the day to do some work. And it sort of feels like I'm getting two days worth of work done. Like first half of the day feels like one day and then I come home and I do like a whole day's worth of work at home. And uh, sometimes I like staying late into the in the office and sometimes I like uh, coming home early and then getting that second shift going. Also, this is one of my favorite quotes. It says, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. And I think it's an old Chinese um, proverb. I don't know where it's from. So if you do have some idea, let me know. So while we're waiting for the eggs to finish cooking, uh, let me tell you something I absolutely love about this kitchen. So I like multitasking, so I like cooking and then I'll be on my phone, um, maybe watching YouTube videos or just like checking out my email. But catch this, this microwave, it sticks. So I could watch YouTube and do whatever I have to do. I can still open the microwave. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be catching up on the news from my boy, Philip DeFranco. Like button, let me do know the So I'm going to have an egg burrito. I usually like two burritos. And a burrito is never complete without some good old mayo. I love mayo. I'll have it with anything. I'll have mayo with rice, mayo with bread, mayo with anything. I basically grew up having mayo with anything in Sierra Leone. Like we'll wake up and then have some bread and mayo for breakfast. And then once we're going to school, we have bread and mayo for lunch, and then we come home and eat rice. So, I love mayo. Someone should put that on a t-shirt. I recently learned how to fold burritos. And if there are any burrito experts in the comments, just rip my Rip my technique. So I do this, fold it up, and that. 
fold it up and that and that's a lunch slash dinner Hmm. It is so good. And the mayo, the mayo just makes it taste ten times better. I was, I was starving. I absolutely needed this. I think after this, I'm gonna be recharged for the second half of the day. So it's been a couple of hours. The DNS should have propagated by now and the website should be live. <clears throat> and I'm about to check it. But before I do, today I'm reminded once again why I started a company and why I'm doing this in the first place. Because the most amazing thing just happened. I received an email from GitHub literally two hours ago. And then the email said, congratulations, you have been selected as a top 15 um, finalist for the GitHub 2024 Accelerator. And we had to make a short one minute video introducing the team in like by the end of the day. So this email was sent around like 8.30 p.m which gives us like three hours, 30 minutes to just submit it. And they expected us to just hop on a, a Zoom call or something and then make the video. So I got all the team members together and um, we just went on and then we winged it and then we made the video and then we submitted it. And we submitted the video in like an interesting way where I made a commit on the repository and um, submitted it as a video. Like I submitted the, the video as code on the GitHub repository. So hopefully that's like something that stands out, but um, you never know. So um, I'll let you guys know how it goes if we get accepted to that accelerator, but uh, let's see how the website turned out. So this is the finished product. Um, it's on a really sleek domain, addy.so, you refresh, and it has these really cool animations that pops up. And the hero section is about um, who we are. AI powered email that saves you hours a week, very direct and to the point. We have a um, screenshot of the platform. We have um, customers and people who are currently using it and where they are, the value proposition and features that we currently offer. Scroll down, scroll down. We talk about enterprise, our grand vision. We talk about some of the features that we have and we go in depth into a few features. And then we talk about reviews. We talk about current investors. And at the end, we have a place where people can sign up and request access for our early access. And then at the footer section, which I'm really proud of, we have other products that we offer like Lang Drive, which we just submitted a GitHub Accelerator interview for. We have our Chrome extension, which goes to the Chrome extension page. Um, we have around 15 or 16,000 people currently using this Chrome extension. That's uh, really interesting. Um, we have a bunch of pages. So yeah, the website is live. It's, you know, it's kicking. Um, this has been something we've been working on for a while. I'm super thankful to the team, super thankful to everyone who has contributed in making this a success, like the customers that hop on, on calls with us, giving us ideas, um, you know, our families who support us. And thank you to you guys for um, supporting us and just watching us come along this journey. And if you ever need a way to spend less time on your emails, check us out at addy.so. We'd really love to have you. Thank you so much.